Good evening. Welcome to an additional update on the markets. Well, Bitcoin has crashed heavily, so let's discuss what's going to happen next or what levels we can deploy. Also going to watch uh, or check some altcoins. But first, if you like my content and want to learn more about trading or follow me in my trades, check out the website beneath this video. Also, please subscribe to the channel and follow me on uh, Instagram if you like my content. So, what's up with Bitcoin? We've discussed, and you can see that it's a very blurry chart, but we've discussed what our targets were for Bitcoin. And I'd like to add a few things before we continue. First, if something hits TP, in my case it was 12k, you have to take partial profits if that's according to your plan if you are swing trading i think you're still into a position as neither 12k or 11k should be anything of entries and uh, take profits i think you should not be having any trade at all but if you're day trading as i'm also doing partially with my stack um, 12k was a clear resistance on your way you should be taking profits and the other one was 11 seven and a half after we've got a clear confirmation of bottom formation in this 11.2 zone. So we dropped down and I said I want to see a support at 11.6 to 11.7. So we did get a slight bounce there, but we immediately continued to crash down. May or may not have been fueled by the momentum we had on the news of BitTump. But regardless of that, we've lost the 11.6 zone, which was a crucial level as there's not many support levels in between. As you see the range here, and I'm going to erase everything, you can see that we clearly had that resistance zone at 12K, and we clearly have that support zone in the area of 11.2. So mid-range was 11.6, and mid-range could not hold. So what is the next level you are going to look at? That is the support zone we've defined here, which is the area around 11 to 11.2. So that's about what's currently happening on the markets. We can also see that in the opposite way, the DXY is doing pretty much fine. Uh, tap the low, reclaims the low, um, currently into resistance. So we would not be surprised if the DXY is getting down towards 92 points for a slight test of support before a breakout. And that's also where I'm going to be uh, cautious on Bitcoin. Yes, we've got the momentum we have here uh, previously, which is a sideways range bound movement. However, we initially held the crucial support level, which we are currently facing already. So I'll just describe what I want to see as two possible scenarios for Bitcoin. The most likely one at this case is that we're going to break south. So what I, I expect right now is that short term we've witnessed a heavy crash. And we have got a big gap through which it is very likely that we're going to test some higher levels before we reverse, right? So in this case, we can see that we have a clear resistance zone around the 11.5 to 11.6.5 area. If we zoom in some more, you can see that there are some levels. 11.5.5 um, is a level. 11.7.5, 7. That's the second level. So the two levels we have we have to watch are clearly defined already, which is the 11.5 and a half and 11.7 level, right? On the downside, we have got a clear support zone through which we have been testing this support quite some time. So what's next is the bearish scenario. Once uh, I do suspect that we are going to see a short term bounce, given that we've got liquidity above us more likely right now then uh, downwards so what we witnessed previously in the crash is that we get a bounce back up which seems very likely at this point towards the area we've pointed out here which is 11 five and a half to 11 seven if we do reject there and come back down i would be really cautious in the momentum we get there as we've had these tests the likelihood of a breakdown if we get another test of this 11k zone is going to increase significantly and also alongside the fact that we do have the dxy um, showing strength which is not the, the the way you want to have for bitcoin also um uh, there's still the cme gap so the likelihood that we are going to see a breakdown of this distribution or sideways range 
to watch the areas we have been pointing is going to increase but is it going to be in one heavy drop down i don't believe so i think it's going to be like a bunny hop game in which we just calmly bottom out and once we get into the bottoming out structure it seems to be to be a very likely case that everything is going to do be fine um, you know that once everything starts to drop significantly like bitcoin is doing um, altcoins do relatively uh, bad as well but once it calms down you see altcoins do uh, bounce back up um, show strength but you should be aware that uh, the training might be a little bit more short term based given the momentum we have so that's the bearish view we also have the bullish view on Bitcoin. Um, in that case, we get a bounce up, make a support resistance flip off the 11.4 zone and start to continue running in which we flip the crucial level of 11.5 to 11.7. So on the upside, we have 11.6 to 11.7 as crucial pivot. And on the downside, we've got 11K as a crucial pivot. Then we also have a uh, swipe we have to discuss as clearly we did not do what we wanted to be doing but we got to the previous level of support through which we are getting into by the dip zones so what we see is that on a daily time frame we clearly rejected at the ob uh, we came all the way down we could not hold the level we could not hold the crucial support zone through which the range low also did not hold and now we are rejecting at the range low so my first initial longs got stopped out, but I placed some other orders downwards in case of such a drop. Um, they got filled, but right now you can see that the structure is still down as we've got lower highs, lower lows. So you want to see a clear bottoming structure through which a bounce back up towards the 270, 280 zone and maybe even 285 would line up with the momentum on Bitcoin. And then the question becomes whether we get that higher low in which we flip 245 and get a compression going and then you can define a new higher highs this is the crucial breaker if we do break three dollars to 320 i said that we can con see continue towards four bucks if we do not get this higher low um, it seems very likely that we get a further downwards momentum towards the two bucks level get some more boring sideways consolidation before we get the next breaker up so that's my view on sxp right now we also have tesos which is still in the buy the dip zone on the BTC pair. Uh, we bounced all as well. So um, Tesos is showing a little bit more strength and it has to break the previous support at 2780. If we get towards the USDT pair, um, similar figure. I was suspecting or still expecting to see support hold around the three bucks level, um, which is clearly defined through the daily close and how we are going to act from there. Four hour time frame much likely that we're going to see a ready towards three dollars thirty after which the question becomes whether this is going to be deviation and we flip the 315 for support get compression breakout um, or whether we get another dump down and then we get any bottom formation so if you want to take any longs more secure you want to see that confirmation occur in the next few days before you take any entry um, is it a short opportunity should you panic sell no that's not a strategy at all small update on the evening uh, in the evening on the markets i hope you've enjoyed this one tomorrow morning i'll be back with a regular update